Hello, welcome to Math with Miss Bayruthi. In this video, we are going to talk about graphing. As you can see here, this is a graph or coordinate plane. Okay, so let me go ahead and write that down. Make sure you write it down on your paper. This is a coordinate plane or in other words, graph. This right here. As you can see, a coordinate plane has two lines, okay? The first line is the one that is going left and right. That is the x-axis. So make sure that you remember that this is the x-axis. On the left side, you can see little lines in front of the numbers. The little lines means that this is negative. So the left is negative, and on the right is positive. The other line goes up and down, as, and this is called the y-axis. Go ahead and write that down, y-axis. As you can see up, there are no lines in front of the numbers, so this is positive. So up is positive, and down you can see a little line in front of the numbers. That means that it is negative. Okay, so one more time for the x-axis, x-axis is left and right left negative, right positive, y-axis up and down, y-axis up positive, down negative. Okay, now as you can see the coordinate plane has four parts, four parts. These are called quadrants, quadrants, like cuatro quadrants. This is quadrant one. We put a big I for quadrant one. This is quadrant, quadrant two. This one here is quadrant three. And this one here is quadrant four. And yes, we write them in Roman numerals, okay? In the middle, the center, this is called the origin, the center, and that is actually zero, Zero. So right here is the origin zero, zero. All right. And as you can see here, I have some numbers in parentheses. I have two numbers in parentheses. These are called ordered pairs. So let's just go ahead and explain ordered pairs to you. They are in parentheses, and there's going to be two. The first one is always x. First is x. Second, y, always. X, remember x is left and right. Remember x, left and right. And y, y, up and down. Okay, remember the left is negative. The right is positive. Again, for the y, down is negative, up positive. So you will need to remember that the x is first and the y is second. Now we're going to go ahead and graph, okay? Tell what point is located at each ordered pair. Let's do number one. Number one, it says negative seven negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Negative 7, negative 2. The first one is x. This one is y. Do you see that? Always do that. The same here. x, y. x, y. x, y. All. x, y. Always. Always x, y. x, y. x, y. x, y. Okay, now the X is always left and right, and the Y is always up and down. Okay, now do you see here that this is negative 7? Negative, negative, negative is left or right? Well, it's left, so I need to go to the left 7. Okay, so let me write left. Seven. Remember, left is this way. 
and this is negative 2, okay, negative, up or down, negative is down, so that means down 2, that's down. So how do we put that on the graph? Well, what you're going to do is you start in the middle, always start here, left 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, right here is 7, and then 2 down, 1, 2, there it is, S, so my answer for number 1, S, okay, now we're going to do it again with number 2, okay, remember, X, left and right, left negative, right positive, Y, up and down, up positive, down negative. This is positive 2, so I'm going to go positive, positive is right, so right 2. This is positive 4, okay, positive is up or down, that is up, up 4. Okay, so let's start in the middle, and I'm probably going to need to zoom out here. So right 2, so start in the middle, 1, 2, here's 2, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, here it is, K, so my answer for that one is K, let's do number 3, okay, number 3, okay, 2 is X, okay, so X is going to be left and right, now this is, and left is negative, right is positive, Y is up and down, up is positive, down is negative. Okay, look at 2, positive 2, positive 2 is right. So 2 to the right, okay, and then negative 7, negative is up or down, down. So 7, down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start in the middle, and we're going to go 2 right, 1, 2, and 7 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 is L, okay, let's go ahead and try number 6 now, this one's number 6, okay, for this one, negative 6 is X, remember that's left and right, left is negative, right is positive, 2 is Y, Y is up and down, up, positive, down, negative, okay, negative 6, so that means 6 to the left, and this is positive 2, positive is up, so 2 up, okay, so I'm going to start in the middle, 6 left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, up, 1, 2, that's R, there we go, so you can finish the rest of this section yourself, let's go on to section 2 with some different instructions, write the ordered pair for each given point. Okay, let's start with number 9. So here I have V, so I need to find V here, and it looks like V is right here. Okay, so I'm looking for V. Here it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw some lines here to connect to the X and to the Y. And this was a 4, just so you know. Okay, you're going to start with your parenthesis. Remember, first is X, second is Y. X, Y. 
Okay, so we're going to look. This is x. That means that this number here is x. That is a 4. 4 is x. And this is y. This is y here, negative 4. Negative 4. So 4, negative 4. Let's try number 10, x. Okay, here's x right here. Let's do our parenthesis, parenthesis, and this will be x, y. Okay, so here's my x. Let's draw the lines. Okay, x, where's my x? Well, here's the x. Looks like this is the x right here, negative 5. Now y, this is my y. What number is that? Negative 9. Let's try number 11. Parentheses, this is x, y. I, let's find I. Ooh, it's really high up. Okay, here's I. Let's draw our lines. Okay, so the first thing I have is X. So this is my X right here. This is the X. And it looks like this for the I is touching this number, negative 7. And now for the Y, this is the Y, and it looks like it's touching 8. So negative 7, comma, 8. Okay, let's try number 13, Z. Let's find Z. There it is. Oh, this one's a hard one. Let's put our parentheses. Okay, so it looks like Z is only touching one number, 4. Now this 4 is X or Y? Well, this 4 is on this line, okay? And it looks like this 4 is Y. Okay, so here I have X, Y. 4 is Y. So I'm going to put the 4 for Y. No number for X. So 0. If it's touching a line, you're going to need to use 0. Okay. Let's try the next part. All right. Number 17. Negative 2, negative 5. Okay, and I'll just do it down here. Negative 2, negative 5. This is x, y. Okay, so x is negative 2. Remember, x is left and right. Y is up and down. Negative 2. So negative is left or right. Well, it looks like it's negative, which is left. And negative 5, oops, let me make that a little bigger. Negative 5, is that up or down, negative? Up or down, down. Okay, so I'm going to need to go 2 left, 5 down. Okay, so start in the middle. 2 left, 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, sorry, sorry, 2. <laughs> sorry, lo siento, sorry. Again, in the middle, 2 left. One, two, five down. One, two, three, four, five. Put a big point, big one, grande. Put G. That's the name. Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's E. Nombre es E, not G. Erase. E. There we go. So I did that one. 
Let's try N, okay? N. Three is X. This is for that. Three is X. Negative two is Y. Three positive. Left or right? Right. Right three. Negative two for Y. Up or down negative? Down. So you're going to start in the middle. You're going to go three right. One, two, three, two down. One, two. Put a big point and the name N. So that one's done. Okay, let's try M. Eight, eight. So eight is X, Y, eight is Y. Positive eight, left or right? Looks like it's right. Right eight. And then eight Y up or down? Looks like it's up. So eight, so start in the middle. 8 right and 8 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 8 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the name M. Okay, that one's good. Last one. Five zero. Okay, so if you have a zero, you don't need it. I just have a five. So X, Y. My X is five. Positive, positive five. Left or right? Right. So only move to the right. So start in the middle. Go five to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Done. And the name is C. Finished. Okay, so if you did not understand what we were talking about in this video, then please watch the video again or ask somebody for help. Thank you and have a nice day.